Hello yogi friends, welcome to this prenatal yoga class. Today we're going deep into the legs. Let's begin this practice in child's pose. So spread your knees open as wide as your mat and then melt your body forwards, arms resting heavy on the mat, forehead on the mat. And start breathing in and out of your nose. Deep inhales and exhales here. Really letting go and focusing on yourself, on your body, on your baby for the next 20 minutes or so, leaving everything behind. And dedicating this time for yourself. And feeling your breath traveling through your body. And feeling all the body parts connected to the mat, to Mother Earth. Let the hips become a little bit heavier and melt them closer towards your heels. And if it feels good, Maybe moving your hips from left to right. All the time, leave your arms and hands heavy. And then finding stillness in your child's pose. A couple more deep inhales and exhales here. Maybe listen if you feel an intention coming up for this practice. Really connecting to your body, to yourself. And then slowly interlacing your fingers behind your back. And then arms come forward, shoulder opening here, staying in your child's pose for now, forehead on the mat. You can put your forehead on the um, on a block if that feels better. Stretch your arms forward. On your next inhale, come on up, kneeling. And then open chest, look up. Deep breaths here, inhale, and exhale, child's pose, arms forward, stretch, inhale, let's move with your breath, open your heart, look up, exhale, come on down, and one more time, inhale, come up, look up, Hands press behind and then exhale, child's pose. And this time on your inhale, when you come up, come kneeling, maybe close your knees a little bit. Come on up, press your hips forward, arms back. Again, open heart up, look back. Breathing. And then exhale, release. Come into a four point kneeling here. Swaying hips from side to side. And then cat cow, inhale, arch your back, look up. Exhale, round, tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhaling up. Exhale, curl. Inhale up. Exhale, round your back. And this time, inhale, neutral spine. 
belly button slightly tucked in, making sure that your hands are underneath your shoulders and knees, underneath your hips. Now tuck your toes, lift up, bear hover. Your knees are a few inches off the mat, pushing into the ground, strong shoulders, strong core. Breathing here. And then exhale, hips towards heels. Maybe open your knees a little bit. Inhale forward. Exhale, hover, sit back. Two more times. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Really waking up the legs. Inhale forward. Exhale, sit back. Drop your knees. Open knees. And one more time, child's pose. This time, on your fingertips, keep your arms active. And then inhale, come forward, finding your high plank. Still hands underneath shoulders, strong core. Inhaling here. And then exhale, leading with your hips up towards your downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Do whatever feels good. Maybe hips go from left to right, shaking your head, walking your dog out. Bend the one knee deeply and then the other. <clears throat> Maybe looking underneath one shoulder and then underneath the other. Waving motion on your inhale forwards into high plank hold. Exhale down dog. Inhale come forward high plank hold. Exhale down. Inhale forward. Exhale down with facing dog. Inhale forward, drop knees, come on up with your toes, stay on your knees and give me four tricep push-ups. So the elbows staying close to the body, inhale, exhale, two, three and let's push another one, four. Tuck toes and find your way back into downward facing dog. Very good. Finally, still is now in your downward facing dog. And then next inhale, reach up right leg. And then open this leg. Stacking your hips. So one hip on top of the other. And feel free to open the hip, looking underneath your right armpit. Keep the left heel pressing towards the mat as much as you can. And then exhale, placing foot down, straight onto the other side. And inhale, left leg move up. And then open the knees, stacking the hips, looking underneath left armpit. And the right heel melts down towards the mat. Inhaling here and then exhale, place it all back down. And then walking your downward facing dog forwards. Hips, feet hips width apart. Knees bend for now and grabbing hold of opposite elbows. And swaying from left to right. Placing hands onto shins, look forward, straight back. Exhale down. Two more times, inhale, look forward. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Bending your knees, let your arms be heavy and roll yourself up. One by one by one. Inhale, reach arms up, let palms touch. Exhale, samastiti. 
Beautiful. Okay, let's do one sun A to warm up. Feet close together, depending how far you are. You might like it if your feet are a little bit further apart. Roll your shoulders up to your ears, roll them down. One breath here. And then inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, step back, high plank, or come onto your knees, your choice. Inhaling here. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, look forward, elbows glued into the body. Inhale, come up, your choice. Cow or upward facing dog. Inhale. And then exhale, finding your way into downward facing dog. And then with the next exhale, step forward. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold one more time. And then inhaling, come on up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Let's take a moment here. Grab hold of belly or place your hands on your heart. Again, feeling the ground underneath our feet. And then exhale, open hands, open eyes. Step back with right foot, finding your high lunge. Making sure that the, first, the top knee, the, the front knee is on top of your ankle. Arms up, pressing through the back heel. Nice, strong base. Inhale here. Exhale. Next, inhale. Sweep arms forward. Body comes forward. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, arms and body forward. Exhale, hands down. One last time. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale. And this time, arms again forward, up. And then leaning over, grab hold of right wrist and just slightly open the right side body. Strong legs. Inhale, switch, grab side. Grab hold of left wrist, gently open left side body. Inhale, center. Exhale, frame the front foot, drop back knee. Melting your hips forward for a breath. And then come up to high lunge, maybe helping yourself with your hands. Come up a little bit with your hips. Again, arms fall up. And same again, grab hold of right wrist, open right side body. Inhale through center, let's do the other side, left side, stretch. And press through the front foot. Inhale through center. Exhale, hands onto the ground. And then coming into your half split. Squaring out the hips. So the left hip pulls back a little bit. The right hip comes forward. Flexing left toes towards your face. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold over left leg. Breathing here, deep hamstring stretch. And then in. 
inhale, come forward again. This time, taking your left hand to the inside of the left foot. So walking your left foot a little bit towards the outside of the mat. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, waving forward, melt hips down. Exhale, hips back. Two more times. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale. Exhale. And the last inhale. Let's find our way into high plank. Let's flow it out. Knees, chest, chin on your exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog or cow. And then exhale, downward facing dog. And your inhale, walk your feet towards the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. And inhale, come on up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Straight onto the other side. Step back, left leg. Nice long stance back. Finding your center, high lunge here. Again, checking if your knee is on top of your ankle. Press through, back heel. Strong base. Inhale, arms up. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale forwards with arms and body. Exhale, open your arms. Inhale, waving forward. Exhale, open. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, open. Last time, inhale forward. Exhale. Inhale, arms up. Take hold of left wrist. Open left side body. Inhale through center, other side. Lean over towards left. All the time, deep belly breathing. Inhale through center. Exhale, hands onto the ground, drop back knee, melting hips first. And then come on up, high lunge. Low lunge. <laughs> Arms up. Exhale here. Let's do it again. Inhale forwards. Exhale. Inhale forward. Exhale. Inhale, arms up. And again, over to the right, grab hold of left wrist. Through center, other side, over to the left. Breathing space into right side body. Inhale through center. Exhale, hands back onto the ground and then push hips back. Extend right foot, flex right toes towards face. Inhale, lengthen spine, look forward. Exhale, fold over this leg. And now this time pulling the right hip back and left hip slightly forward. Breathing into the stretch of your back right leg. And then waving forward, right hand into right side, right foot towards the outside of the mat. It's kind of a lizard, lizard pose. Inhaling here and then exhale, hips come back. Extending right leg, inhale, wave forward. 
Exhale back. Inhale forward, melting hips. Exhale back. One more time. Inhale, come forward. Exhale back. Beautiful. Inhale forward. And gently stepping back into your high plank or with the knees on the ground. And let's flow it out. Knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cow. And then exhale. Let's have a child's pose here. Arms forward. Take a rest. Melting hips towards your heels. Extending your spine. And then inhale, come on up, down dog. Beautiful. And then look forward on your inhale. And with little baby steps, finding your forward fold. And rolling up on your inhale. Exhale, lovely. Come towards the center of your mat. Big step out, toes slightly pointing in. Hands onto your hips. Inhale, look up. And then exhale, folding forwards. Dropping your hands onto the ground. And then, as if we're doing a down dog, move your hands forward and your head through your arms back, pushing into your hands. And the more open, the wider you open your legs, the easier it gets. And the closer you put your feet together, the more you can feel the stretch in the back of your legs and hamstrings. And then walking your hands through the center, turn towards your right foot, pivot over, Again, finding your low lunge first. So drop your back knee, your left knee. And then placing left hand down. And if you can, bending the back knee, back leg, and grab hold of the left foot. If you can't, maybe use a strap or a t-shirt or simply stay here, just bending that left foot towards you. That right foot can go open to the pinky side of the foot, so leaving that hip nice and open, looking back, rolling over with your shoulder. And then gently let that left foot go. Come on up. Walking through center towards the left foot, the other side. Again, dropping the back knee first. Low lunge style. And then either just lift your back leg, staying right here. Or if you can grab hold of the back foot with a t-shirt, strap, or with your fingers. Grab hold of it, pull it to... Towards you, pull the heel towards you, look over your left shoulder, let the left foot open and then give your right leg a nice quad stretch. Breathing into the stretch. And 
And just be really gentle. Don't yank on your foot. And then gently let it all go. And this time finding your four point kneeling, one cat cow. And then one last downward facing dog. Swaying your hips from left to right. And then dropping your knees and come towards a seated position. This time finding Janu Shasana. So left leg stays straight, pull your left toes towards your face. Right foot comes to the inside of your left thigh. Inhale, arms up. And then on your exhale, folding over towards your left toes. Grabbing hold of your left ankle or toes, wherever it feels good for you. If you have lower back issues, pop yourself up onto a block maybe. And the bigger the belly, the more up you come. Or you can always use a strap. Keep your belly, your baby, nice and upright. Don't compress it too much. Just so much you can feel a nice stretch in your left leg. And then inhale, come on up onto the other side. So extending your right foot, pull your toes towards your face. So the right leg is very active. Your left foot goes to the inside of your right thigh, inhaling up. Extend, extend, grow tall, and then exhale, folding over your right leg, wherever that, grab hold of either your calf, your ankle, or your toes. Beautiful. Inhale, come on up nice and slow. Taking your feet down, windshield wiper motions, your legs, knees from left to right. Releasing any tension. And then reverse tabletop. So feet parallel, your hands, your fingertips pointing towards your feet, behind your hips. Inhale, hips come up, press your booty up, look back. Deep belly breathing. And then exhale, placing your bum down. Taking a block or a book if you have, and gently rolling onto your back. So what I find really um, comfortable is going onto your back via your side. And then you're on your back. Using your abs as less as possible, especially the up and down movement, we wanna avoid it. We wanna come up and go down via the side, avoiding any diastasis recti, the separation of the um, abdominals, the upper abdominals here. Okay, when you're ready, your feet are parallel, about hips width apart, taking your block mid, mid width, placing it between your knees, and then trying to touch your feet, your ankles, Shuffling your shoulder blades nice together and on your inhale again lifting your hips up interlacing hands behind you and pressing hands and arms into the floor hips up
Exhale down. Take your hands on your belly. Two breaths here, taking a break. Let's do one more back bend. Same again. Inhale, booty up. Press arms and legs, arms and feet into the ground, and the hips up as much as you can. Chin towards your chest. Three more breaths here. Exhale, release it all down. Take the block or book away from your knees. And again, let your knees fall from left to right. And prepare for a short Shavasana. You can stay on your back, but the further you are with your pregnancy, the less um, comfortable it might be for you. So I prefer to lie on my side. If you do lie on your back, maybe elevate your upper body a little bit with pillows or bolsters so your heart is above your rest of the body. And let's lay down for a minute or so. Letting go, becoming heavy. And really marinating in this feeling of gratitude for our body doing this at work every day. And gratitude towards ourselves for finding the time to practice. You can stay in your Shavasana for as long as you wish. But if you want to carry on with your day, come on out with me and gently push yourself back up into a seated position. Into easy pose, Shukasana, hands on your knees. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands through heart center. And one more time, inhale. Exhale. Bowing down towards your hand, towards your heart. And thanking yourself for taking this time for practicing and looking after yourself, your body, your belly and your baby. Thank you so much for practicing. See you next time.